It's worse than they first thought. That is the reaction of city officials in Atlanta seeking answers about acts of public indecency. The leaders agree the city needs to purchase and put out more public restrooms to help address the problem. Fox Lives More Stiggs tells us it was a topic of discussion at two city hall meetings. I understand this is not an ideal topic at the dinner hour. But if you are moving around the city of Atlanta, and particularly if you have young family members, what you never want to see is someone using the restroom out in public. A council member say something like this, the automatic toilet is an option that the city needs more of. The shocking image of an adult male totally nude in the Buckhead section of Atlanta is not a one-off. If you ever have business that takes you to Atlanta Police Headquarters, look before you step. Some of the homeless relieve themselves on the doorstep of the department that is charged with enforcing all city laws. It happens down here, all around downtown, right out in front of police headquarters. So how are you all dealing with, uh, dealing with that issue? The officers and civilians who work at APD endure the unpleasant scene particularly bad during the summer. Each situation is a little different. We may get the call as an indecent person, but after we start investigating, it's turned out that there's been some other type of infraction involved in it. City council members on Monday and Tuesday ask about public nudity and worse, but receive no detailed responses. Since we've seen on the news about the indecent exposure in Buckhead, I've received so many calls. This member spoke about the intersection of Cascade Road and Benjamin E. Mays. Right by an art exhibit is where some individuals choose to relieve themselves. And it's not good for our children. It's not good for quality of life in the neighborhoods. Atlanta put out a few automatic toilets. Why are there not more? The last we checked, I think we were one of the, had some of the worst numbers in terms of public restrooms per open, like per green space or per open space. So we were pretty low. For some who would repeatedly relieve themselves outside, yes, there could be some mental issues going on. But for some of the others, the homeless, they may find themselves in a section of town where there's no other option. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.